This is Gerald, a retired neuroscientist struggling with the science of dating. Understanding the brain does not help you understand how women might work. Nice to see you. Very Lovely good. Thank to you see very you. much. Thank Shall I take you. your stuff? Yes, please. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Oh, my God, two scarves. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. I've had a career in neuroscience, probably from the age of six or seven onwards, when I used to have mice at home and do uh, run them through mazes and things to see what happens. Hello, sir. Hello there. How are you? Pleasure to meet you. Lovely to meet I'm you. fine. So what can I get you? I don't drink alcohol because it's the devil's drink. Okay. So um, I'd like some sort of weird fruitiness. I did fit the stereotypical scientist, analytical, sees things differently to other people. I think I'm getting more eccentric as time goes on because I'm not with anybody. And why are you single at the moment? Mm. Um, just trying to find somebody who can put up with me. Uh, it's easy going. Probably interested in some of my interests. It's very difficult to find somebody who have got that magic with them. You know, it's hard. I'm attracted by somebody who's probably got a bit of creativity to them, a little bit eccentric, a little bit different, like myself. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. I've been cool. It's just got a bit of spark to them, a bit of life. Thank you, Cher. Do you know what I did this morning? I went to um, the art gallery. What, the Lowry? The Manchester Art Gallery, I don't know. Oh, and okay, I went yes. and had a look I at all the Lowry's. They've got a, oh, they've, got got a, they've got a room mm. which they share with um, Valette. Oh, right. Yeah, oh, so the, which saw the Lowry's. I think he was very influenced by Valette, wasn't he? Apparently, Do you know what? So. The, his paintings are stunning. Okay. Really beautiful. Yeah. Do you have children? No, I've got no children. No, I, didn't, I never had any children, so... Um, I had a long-term partner for uh, about 32 years. Yeah, it was amazing, it was wonderful. Um, but she died, um, had a heart attack. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. We met because my partner used to sell antiques in Hampstead at a, at a fair, and I used to keep going up there. She was just a very beautiful person. Yeah. She had Parkinson's. It's hard to get over, right? Very difficult. I just remember speaking to her and saying, oh, this is our favourite programme, Bargain Hunt. You know, then I'm sort of, oh, this is really good, isn't it? It's funny, this, or something. And, and you know, and then she died, so... Yeah. Oh, my God, how sad Very sad, sad. Yeah. incredibly sad, yeah. Much better to have loved and lost because it's wonderful to be in love. It'd be lovely to meet somebody again, somebody that makes you really happy and you make them happy. So what do you hope for the future? Like, what do you look forward to now? Just a nice, easy life, really. You know, I want to meet somebody who's nice and kind and, and gentle and um, uh, likes to do things as a creative mind like yours. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of love and romance.